The inaugural early signing period starts tomorrow, December 20th. Alabama head coach Nick Saban uh, discussing why he isn't really a big fan of this early signing period. Matt Zenitz joins me now from Tuscaloosa, and we'll start with that. Overall, what is your big takeaway from Nick Saban's comments on this early signing period and why it presents so many challenges uh, as they get ready for this college football playoff? Well, pretty much that he has a certain distaste for it and that he's not a big fan of it. It's pretty much what he said the other day, that he wasn't a fan of it when it was first put into place, and he's not a fan of it right now. It creates a, a lot of additional stress and responsibility for not only Coach Saban, but others on Alabama's coaching staff. They've had to do a, a lot more when it comes to recruiting during the course of December than they typically have have to do, and there has been traveling that comes along with that, and it's just created even more responsibility while at the same time they're preparing for the college football playoffs and a very difficult matchup with Clemson. And one of the other things that Coach Saban has said that he doesn't like about it either is the fact that if you look back to when Josh Jacobs signed with Alabama, Josh was a guy who was extremely under the radar and leading up to, I want to say the beginning part of January, so a month before National Signing Day, Josh only had two FBS scholarship offers and didn't get on the radar for big schools like Alabama until late in the process. And wait, one of the things that Coach Saban referenced is, without mentioning Josh specifically, that there are a lot of players that are going to be pressured by smaller schools right now to sign early because of those schools not wanting those players to blow up late and potentially have a bigger school come along and steal them away from, from whatever school it is that they're, they're looking at right now. Yeah, so still a lot of question marks as to how this will all go down because this early signing period starts tomorrow, goes through Friday. So a lot of question marks, of course, still a lot of drama could potentially happen. It'll be interesting to see. Now, the defensive line secondary spots, that's where Alabama is really heavy on recruiting. Why do you think that is here in this early signing period? Well, pretty much because of the players Alabama is preparing to lose. So I, I would identify the, the secondary is probably the biggest priority during the course of this recruiting period because Alabama set to lose not only its top three guys at cornerback with Anthony Everett, Levi Wallace, and Tony Brown, who plays the star position, but also set to probably lose their two safeties also with Minka Fitzpatrick and Ronnie Harrison. Then also you have Hootie Jones, who steps in and is essentially a starter because Minka slides down when Alabama goes into to nickel and dive. So essentially you're losing your top six DBs and you need guys that are capable of stepping in and, and helping to fill that void. So you have some players now who are obviously going to be dependent on to play bigger roles, but it's been a big priority for Alabama to replenish that defensive backfield and something that they've done a very good job with so far. Have four players that are committed already. All, all four guys are four-star recruits, highly thought of, highly rated, and at the very least, a couple of those guys look to be in a good position to be able to contribute early at Alabama, specifically Josh Job and, and Savion Smith, the, the former LSU player who is already here practicing at Alabama. And then similar, similarly, uh, along the defensive line, Alabama is set to, to lose some of their top players there. So Deshaun Hamm will be gone. Josh Frazier, who's a top backup, is a senior also. And then Deron Payne is a possibility, maybe even likely, to move on to the next level also. So you need to replace some players there along the defensive line. And it looks like right now they only have one true defensive lineman with Stefan Wynn, who's a highly rated player. Some of the other guys who are, are classified as defensive linemen and are probably more outside linebacker types here at Alabama, but that's definitely another priority for them, just replenishing that defensive line because, because of some of the players they're preparing to lose. Yeah, always a lot of moving parts, but we know Alabama, Nick Saban, always at the top of their game in terms of recruiting. With that being said, always trying to add some big names. If you could pinpoint a couple of guys in this early signing class that have either already committed or are expected to, to perhaps commit sometime this week, who would you say highlights this recruiting class for Alabama? Yeah, I would say the biggest ones to keep an eye on this week as far as players that aren't committed yet. Yabi Noma is probably the biggest one. He's a five-star defensive end from my neck of the woods, from Baltimore, Maryland. And he commits on Friday. And based on what I've heard, it seems like Alabama is in a good position to, to land him. That would be a significant catch for them. I think he's ranked right now as the number seven player overall in next year's recruiting class, according to the 24-7 composite. And just a, a really good player, highly thought of, and would, would, needless to say, be a significant get for them if when that happens.
Brenton Cox, a, a five-star defensive lineman from, from Georgia, is another one to keep an eye on, even though it seems like Georgia is probably more likely to get him at this point. And I would say Emory Jones also, a quarterback who Alabama has been working on, try, trying to get a commitment from, has been committed to Ohio State for a while. Um, that would be another one as far as guys who are, are making a, a final decision this week that, that's at least worth keeping an eye on, even though it's probably unlikely at this point that he decides on Alabama. All right, Matt, thank you so much for all your insight. We appreciate it. Of course, I know you'll be on campus tomorrow getting us ready for early signing day. See what uh, what's in the fold between now and Friday and obviously the college football playoff uh, right around the corner as well. We appreciate it so very much. And for all your Alabama Crimson Tide updates, you can visit us on AL.com.